Where are we? Oh, this is Tokyo, the capital city of Japan. Look at all the people. It's very busy here. Tokyo is the most populous area of Japan. What's this big building? It's the Tokyo Tower. It's one of Japan's most iconic landmarks. It's a communications and observation tower. It's also a popular tourist attraction. Visitors can go all the way to the top of the tower for breathtaking views of the city. This is the famous Shibuya Crossing, the world's busiest pedestrian crossing. This is a scramble crossing. Traffic comes from lots of different directions. Traffic will stop at the same time to allow people to cross, like Times Square in New York or Piccadilly Circus in London. It's a popular meeting place. Ooh, be careful. You don't want to bump into anyone. Japan is famous for its bullet trains, known locally as the Shinkansen. This is a network of high-speed railways. They connect Tokyo with distant regions of Japan. Let's hop on and see where it takes us. We're in Kyoto the old capital of Japan. Famous for its cherry blossoms. Visitors come from all over the world to see the beautiful blooms in spring. But they don't last long. What are all these people doing? Oh, it's a festival, the largest one in Japan, known as the July Festival or Gion Matsuri. People have celebrated this festival since ancient times. During mid-July, Kyoto is transformed by parades and events where elaborately decorated floats are displayed and pulled through the streets. It's not just people who live in Kyoto. You can find wild macaque monkeys too. The Arashiyama Monkey Park is inhabited by 120 macaques. Macaques are also known as snow monkeys, as they mainly live in areas that receive a lot of snowfall. You can feed the monkeys at the park, but be careful, as these are still wild animals. What's going on here? Oh, we're in a sushi restaurant. Sushi is a traditional Japanese dish of rice and a variety of toppings, including fish and seafood. It is often served with pickled ginger, wasabi and soy sauce. It's now a popular dish all over the world and other countries have their own take on it. Let's hop back on the train and see where we end up. Where are we now? Oh, it's Mount Fuji. This is an active volcano which is found just outside of Tokyo. Visitors can climb the volcano and gaze at the scenic landscape. Mount Fuji is Japan's highest mountain 
and has been popular with artists throughout the years. It's not hard to see why. Look at that peaceful lake. This is Lake Kawaguchi. It's one of five lakes surrounding Mount Fuji. Visitors to Mount Fuji often stay in this area. It's known for its nature walks and hot springs. But it's not just humans who enjoy a hot spring. Let's hop back on the Shinkansen. Where are we now? The Itsukushima Shrine. It's a famous site of worship in Japan and popular with tourists. Shinto and Buddhism are the most widely practiced religions in Japan. There are many temples and shrines all over Japan. However, religion doesn't play a big part in the everyday lives of most Japanese people. They will, however, visit a shrine or temple on New Year's Eve. Or to celebrate other festivals and ceremonies. The Itsukushima Shrine has been built on this beachfront and when the tide is in, it appears that the shrine is floating. This part of the shrine is known as a Tori Gate. These gates are found at the entrance of a shrine. When the tide is high, the gate is completely surrounded by water and you can only get close when the tide is out. We are back on the train. Where are we going now? Look at all the deer. This must be Nara Park. These are seeker deer. You can find these deer roaming around the town and the park. They are very tame and friendly. The deer are regarded as special animals who protect the city. This is because in Japanese legend, the god Takamikazuchi arrived in Nara on a white deer to guard the city. I hope you enjoyed our time in Japan. Please like and subscribe for more simple English videos.